it's the first day galloping here in the Churchill, and uh, although the track's wet, I thought he went great, and uh, came out of the little grass in good shape, had a solid work back at Keeneland, and uh, just really excited the way he's going. Yeah, yeah, he's a horse that's always continued to improve. I mean, he came into Royal Barnes, a two-year-old, highly regarded, and, and, and with plenty of ability right off the bat, but, uh, but as he's advanced his career, he's kept improving, uh, he's gotten bigger, stronger, faster. Uh, it's a really cool horse to be around. We just love him. Uh, I don't really feel the pressure anymore after doing this, you know, for 10 years and having a lot of great horses. But um, I, I'd say now it's more excitement. You know, you, for as many you know great horses as we've had, this is a really rare horse. You know, I have a champion two-year-old uh, from last year that's coming in in good form going into the Derby, and uh, it's just very exciting. And you know, the longer you do this, you appreciate how hard it is to get a horse like this in your barn. And we're just thankful to have him. Particularly in his last race in the bluegrass, in the first turn, it got tight there and he got banged around. And I was proud of him how he kind of elbowed his way and kept his spot there. And uh, I'm hoping that experience serves him well in the Derby in a big field. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting to be in this position. I think to have one of the main contenders. You know, I'll go as far to say I think there's half the field could win on their best day. I mean, I, I think that much of this field, and I respect a lot of horses in this race. And uh, you know, I've run in the race a few times, and I know that you have to have a lot of racing luck.